Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Today, we're continuing working on the old stock class puller, uh, monkey business. Uh, we're going to finish uh, cutting the wheelie bars and hitch out of it, and then we're going to move forward and see about getting the dash panel, uh, maybe to just take the side covers off, I don't know yet, uh, but we got to take the fuel tank out, battery out, uh, disconnect some wiring, uh, just so we can get to the drive shaft. So, uh, I'm going to turn the camera around here and uh, we'll get cutting. All right, y'all, if y'all remember from the last video, if you watched the last video, if you didn't, uh, go back and watch it now, because uh, anyway, you can get caught up, but uh, we need to get this uh, hitch off of here and the wheelie bars off, and it's all held on with uh, this one last bolt here. I mean, it was held on with all three, but uh, there's one bolt on each side left holding it on, but this piece here is welded into the side spacers, and it's welded to the hitch in there, so... We need to cut it here and cut it over there and uh, uh, I didn't have any sawzall blades the last time so uh, I got some now so we're gonna get to cutting and uh, then we're gonna move forward and we got to get the uh, fuel tank out of it uh, the battery we used to test start it and I don't know if we can just pull the side panels off you guys can't see them that well because there's not a lot of light there but I don't know if we can be able to just pull the side covers off or if we're going to have to pull the whole steering column, um, either way it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, if we got to pull the whole steering column, we'll pull the whole steering column. And probably be easier to pull the whole steering column and dash and everything off. But uh, So we'll cross that bridge when we get to her. So let's get to cutting. All right, y'all, uh, I ended up having to cut the one bracket off the one side because it was on top of the piece of hang wire in there, and the other one's underneath, and I couldn't slide it back because of the uh, pie-shaped thing there, so, but she's out of there now, so, all right, let's uh, move on up here to the front end, and uh, we'll get to working on that one. All right, y'all, I got the uh, fuel tank out of there, got the battery out. Uh, you can see this is where the solenoid for the starter is. Uh, there's a coupler down in there for the uh, drive shaft. I've never really had this off, so I'm thinking I can take the bolts out of the side here. I think there's uh, three bolts on each side, and this whole piece will come up out, and I won't have to take the uh, steering column out. But, like I said, if I do, I do. Ain't no big deal. Um, so, let's, uh, let's get the impact. We'll get those pieces off there and uh, see where we go from right there. Alright, y'all. That uh, battery bracket and uh, fuel tank holder and stuff is all out of the way. You can see we got our uh, drive shaft exposed there. And... Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're making progress. So uh, I had to cut some wires just uh, because of the way they were hooked up and routed, but no big deal. We can get her uh, we can get her back together. Um, there's only like three main wires on this thing that runs the whole entire deal. So yeah, we're uh, we're making progress. Um, this is the area here we have to fit the Cub Cadet clutch into. Um, 
I'm hoping that it uh, it's gonna fit, but uh, yeah, we'll find we'll find out here real soon. So um, we may actually have to move the steering on this thing. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna find out because uh, we got to get the drive shaft for the Cub Cadet back through there, and uh, it's looking looking uh, tight. So, all right. I'm going to think uh, finish pulling the drive shaft out of here. Um, yeah. So, all right. All right, y'all. I got that uh, transaxle. Uh, well, I got the shaft, the old drive shaft out. I got the new uh, donor transaxle sitting in here. Now, it's not centered. It's actually off to the... Um, it needs to go that way about a half an inch and uh, the front's tipping down but like I said I just got it hanging from the gantry right now but I think we might be able to clear that steering but if not uh, let me get alright y'all I think we might be able just to sneak by there and if not I believe this is just a spacer over here this bolt that bolt and there's two on this side that hold this steering shaft in like I said I think that's just a spacer over here on that side we might be able to cut that down and push this steering over and get it you know maybe put a universal or something down in there to get the steering back straight again but uh, yeah I think we can uh, I think we can do her uh, Worst comes to worst, we can put a uh, Cub Cadet steering column in there. Uh, I think I got one. If not, I can find one relatively easy. So, uh, yeah. Um, she's coming together. The uh, big thing is is this, this uh, shaft there for the clutch. It, uh, it's pretty far forward. It's a lot further, further forward than what the Cub Cadets are. So... Uh, that might cause us an issue so only way to know is to try so we'll uh, we'll try her all right y'all we got the uh, trans in and she's pretty well centered up where she needs to be I think it needs to come back about an inch inch and a half and if I can eyeball just right my eyeballs aren't crooked I think we're going to clear. If you see the little dot on the back of the front uh, reduction housing, that is the input shaft. If you look up through there, you can see the back of the motor where the clutch is going to mount. I think we'll just clear that uh, steering. And like I said, if not, uh, I think that's a shim on there. We can slide that thing over, you know, three quarters of an inch or whatever, and uh, Get that steering out of the way and uh, get the uh, trans in here. But uh, I think I want to, I know I'm going to have to cut this back piece off or out. Um, I might, uh, I'd like to leave part of it in here to keep the frame from twisting and moving. But uh, it's up against, this back part here is up against. Uh, there's uh, maybe a half an inch, but like I said, I need to come back at least an inch, inch and a half, uh, or I want to come back at least an inch, inch and a half, uh, just to, uh, there's uh, holes up there in the side of the frame right there that I should line up with those ears right there on the transmission, so uh, I can just build spacer blocks to put in there and tack weld in, drill through. And bolt right into those ears so um, yeah um, so I guess the next uh, next step will be uh, trimming this piece out I, I knew it was gonna have to come out but I was hoping that uh, I could do it after uh, we got the transmission mounted but we're not gonna be able to get the tranny mounted until I get it out of there and uh, yeah so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of myself here, but, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll start cutting that out. 
I think, like I said, I think I'm going to leave a, an inch or so, you know, uh, maybe a couple inches. And, uh, you know, cut it down here, maybe across like that, and then down that way. I don't know yet. I'm going to think on that, and then uh, we'll bring you all back whenever we make a decision. All right, y'all, after much deliberation and thinking and stressing and everything, uh, I figured out how I'm going to mount these, uh, or mount this transmission. I made up these one-inch square steel blocks. Uh, probably going to have to tune them a little bit, but they will fit right in there like that. And uh, that's the actual hole right there that it's going to mount to. So we'll get them in there, get the bolt in it, clean that all up first, but uh, we'll weld those in and then we'll put some gussets on them. And if you guys can see back here in the back, you know, we'll have to, we'll have to tune them up a little bit on the belt sander and uh, get them precisely to fit, but uh, that's how we're going to do it. And there's two of them that'll go back here, one there, one roughly there. Um, and then we'll make, uh, make some gussets. Where are you guys at? Oh, I zoomed you all in. Alright, as I was saying. Goes right there. Um, we'll make some gussets that come up here and go between the two and that should be plenty strong enough to hold this transmission in but uh, first we need to, to drill some holes down through the center of these and my my uh, drill press is not accurate enough the quill in it is loose or bent or something or other and it uh, I've tried before and it won't drill straight down through so we're going to head up to my daily shop and uh, get these holes drilled on this thing. So we'll bring you all back when we get up there. All right, y'all. We've got this all set up in the uh, drill press here. Um, we're just going to drill a pilot hole first um, and uh, hope for the best. So. through. Yeehaw! Finally. Alright. I'm going to get this cleaned up and we'll bring you all right back. Alright y'all. I mean that's that's not a bad drill job. I mean just for floor drill press. So I was a little off when I got in there but uh, yeah. So alright. We got five more of these to draw, so I'm going to probably set you guys up on time lapse and uh, finish drilling them out. <coughs> All right, y'all got that last one drilled um, you guys can notice I did bolt my uh, vise down to the th to the uh, drill press it was just getting a little dangerous and uh, if you also notice too uh, this is why you don't wear uh, baggy clothes around rotating equipment uh, luckily this is paper towel it got wrapped up my drill bit it ripped but if that would have been cloth sleeve or something like that um yeah i could have been in a war to hurt so all right i'm gonna switch over to the uh, 3 8 drill bit and uh we're gonna finish drilling these things out so be right back all right y'all i got that uh bit changed out to a 3 8 so let's uh see how this goes <laughs> 
Well, heck y'all, that, that went easier than the uh, small bit, so. All right. I uh, guess we'll set you all back up on time lapse and uh, we'll drill the other five. Oh, and by the way, the uh, cutting oil I'm using is called Easy Cut. Um, originally it was made by Dyna Systems, and then it went to Parts Masters, uh, the company. Um, I'm pretty sure that's still who they uh, who owns them, but uh, this is like really good stuff. This is like an old, old can. Um, I bought like a case of it back when it was still Dyna Systems and uh don't take a lot and it lasts a long time so yeah so all right let's get these drilled all right y'all got all six of them drilled I just need to wipe them down a little brake clean and uh, we'll head to the home shop and uh, get them tuned up and get them installed. So let's head that way. All right, y'all. Got the drill press all cleaned up and uh, I guess I didn't uh, show you guys what I was what I was using. This is a Wen. Um, really nice machine. It's a floor model. Um, it's 12 speed. Uh, there's the uh, model number and everything from it, but uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is nice. I've had it uh, six, eight months now, um, and I've drilled lots and lots of stuff with it. So um, it it more than more than fits my needs of what I need. So um, I don't know if you guys could see. It does have a. Oh, I unplugged it. Um, it does have a laser crosshair and the uh, little LED light there. So uh, yeah, this thing uh, this thing is a is a beast. So I really like it. So all right, wish I could have it at home. So well, really, I wish I had a mill. Um, so if y'all know anybody has a mill that they want to get rid of, um, cheap or free, hit me up. So all right. All right, y'all, we got our spacers made. Um, I did uh, kind of tune one up a little bit on the belt sander. Uh, I gotta get some better belts and stuff, but uh, it, it worked pretty good. I mean, it rolled the edge a little bit, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, I think we're ready to go. So, but uh, that's gotta be for another day because uh, I guess video is getting long enough. Um, try to keep them short for y'all. Keep your, you know, I'm not very interesting to watch, so, you know, uh, don't waste your time. But, uh, anyways, uh, we're going to end the video here. Uh, on the next one, we will get that trans mounted in, uh, get these things all tuned up and uh, ready to go, and probably weld the uh, gussets and stuff in too. So, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, it's all free, doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, you know, just subscribe. Subscribing is free. Uh, but, uh, appreciate you. Love you. And uh, keep wrenching.